I'm Tiger Phoenix, and welcome to Ragnarok by Frog. We're going to take Paulina over here out, up along the coast, head over by the highlands, and uh, we'll see how it goes. How are you all doing, folks? Now, I got the idea for this because, well, frankly, who travels by Frog anywhere? <laughs> oh, I think I pissed him off. Nope, we're good. And one of the th fun things about this is when you get to be a higher level, when you get to be, you know, you have all the best tames, you have wyverns, all sorts of fun stuff. Really, where's the challenge anymore? So I thought, why not do it by frog? I'll get a unique perspective of the land. And we can go underwater. That would be one of our fellow geeks just... Uh, <laughs> Culling, or culling the herd, so to speak. Okay, overjump that. <laughs> water landing, water landing. Come on. Yay. And that's why I like frogs. A little deeper than I thought it was. But that's like I said, that's going to be the fun part about going around on Frog. Maybe some of the episodes I will have other people joining me. I would be happy to have them. Fellow geeks, you're welcome to, to uh, you know, hop on a Frog. I got a few extras back at home. And uh, we'll go exploring. We'll just see what we can see. Like today, I know there's one little cave area that I've been in on, on uh, Flyer, but I've never done really on foot. And um, thought it'd be fun. Right now we're next to the red ob. Yep, that's a bad view. Didn't really think you'd want to see my froggy's butt. Oh, there's a lead out there waiting. Good thing I don't have a boat. Although some of the boats in this are awesome. This is on the Geeks Ragnarok server. So definitely modded. It's more meant for, uh, you know, building, exploring, having fun. And I missed that drop. Okay, that's all right. I know we got a, a very advanced uh, shipbuilding mod in here. We might see some of those up when we go, go along the coast here. All right, personal note. Can't attack in midair with a froggy. <laughs> never really tried to before yep we're coming up along somebody's boat right here actually I'm pretty sure there's a boat not a base though some of these boats they're the size of bases yep there's a boat this would be red dragons I think anyway that is not where we're stopping Oh, hello. How you doing, Mr. Megalo? I forgot to bring my mask. One of the mods we also have in here is the clear mask. Although I think it has a slightly different name. I don't remember off the top of my head. But the most important part of it is, is it changes the underwater so it's a lot more clear when you're swimming through it. Why not? Blue drops or blue drops. Many of the drops are changed on this on the server just to uh, accommodate for certain things and uh, you know get better blueprints, items, stuff like that. We'll see what we got in here. Do, 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 do. This, however, is not one of them. I'll leave that alone. Why? I like the pretty blue color. <laughs> Let's see here. This is where I wanted to go take a look at. And if we get more time, we'll check out some of the other stuff. Like like the lighthouse is near here. Obviously, I can't take Pauline in there. But um, that's okay. I'll still go up there on foot just to kind of show you around. For those who haven't been up there to see it, those who are new to the... Uh, we have random moss chops. All right. <laughs> There's one of those kind of boats I was talking about, too. Look at that thing. Look at a big old schooner ship or something like that. Was never huge on naval. 
Looks like somebody may have decided to inhabit this cave now. That's all right. They won't mind me dropping by. Or, wow. They're actually offshore. Cool. That is a very interesting design. Boing. In we go. Yeah, see, like I said, never been here underwater, never been here on foot. I have seen this cave. I don't know if there's any other little nooks and crannies down here that lead off anywhere. Or maybe it's just a neat cave to go check out. It looks like it's made all of that, uh, what's normally would be used in the uh, Wyvern Trench on Scorched Earth. Got these, I don't, I don't know, obsidian, not, not really obsidian, um, but these, these massive pylons here. The way they're all hexagonal makes it seem like it's some kind of crystalline structures. Nonetheless, the rag devs have done a fantastic job. I mean, look at this. These things are growing down as well. I mean, look at this. This one's even down into the water. Nonetheless, it's sites like this that I just love to find, love to see. Anybody who's ever went on adventures with me and stuff like that, they know I will stop. I will actively stop when I see something just interesting. I'll be like, hey, come here, come here, come check this out. And I love that about the Ragnarok map. There is a lot of things like that. They're absolutely filled with it. And it's not even done. Apparently, we'll be getting an update sometime soon. I, th I heard on the 8th, not entirely certain. You know, when it comes to ARC, release dates are release dates. They don't always, uh, they're not always accurate. Let's put it this way. At the very least, from Wildcard. You know, these are just perfect little jumping heights for my frog. As long as he doesn't glitch out. I suppose at this point, we're already taking a look at the, the cave, so, whoop, too far. Might as well check out the Highlands a little bit. Highlands seem to be one of it, a lot of people's favorite spots. A lot of people like to set up there because there's easy horses, that kind of stuff. Free food. Come on, Paulina, get up there. Jump, then move forward. There we go. She's not a flyer. But she gets around. There's the lighthouse. At least that's what everybody kind of thinks it is. I don't think there's an official name for it yet. Maybe it's a silo. Maybe it's a wizard's tower. I've heard different things. But for the most part, I've heard it called the lighthouse. Let's take a peek. Got that central pile, uh, pillar going up there. I mean, you could make a base in here. I've heard that these are all buildable areas. You know, you could branch off here, make little landing pads and stuff like that for your, uh, especially like right here. You can go right through this window, I bet. Make little landing pads for your tames here too. Now, one of the other things we have in here is, of course, Structures Plus. Who wouldn't have Structures Plus? And on this server, we have Collision and... Um, what's it called? Oh, yeah, and no support. So we can, uh, you know, we can place down platforms. We can place down all sorts of stuff without having to worry about there having to be foundations underneath. Yep, and this is why a lot of people think it's a 
Lighthouse. Or at least was. That's interesting. Look at that detail work. I mean, think about it. They would have built like a big old campfire here, bonfire, lit it off if they saw a ship coming or something like that. I don't know. We also have reusable plus. Quick way to get down. Alrighty. Back on Paulina we go. And boing. A little bit too much of an overshot, but we will survive. Paulina's tough. All right. Looks like she could use a little bit of bump. Oh, she's hungry. I am a bad owner. Very bad owner. I wonder if she wants some mutton. There's usually sheep around here or something like that. All right. Aloes. That's plausible. Low-level aloes. Except the mama, <laughs> or leader. I guess it would be mama almost. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> Pretty sure I can outrun them. <laughs> so long. See ya. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They're still coming. Do, 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 do. Really? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, man. I do not want to leave them over there. Not They would get trashed, but that's just not right. There. That'll be plenty of meat. This is our local Giga Breeder. All sorts of colorful variants. They've inhabited the, uh, the natural farm that's here. But let's go back to the shore. Let's see what's just off of the shoreline. Now that I've had that little adventure. I do apologize, people. I don't know how to cut yet. I'm working on it. My first episode, you'll see better. But thanks for tuning in at least this time. I got to watch those really, really far jumps. So it looks like that crystalline area extends out actually into the water. I wonder how deep that goes. I've got pretty good oxygen. So let's see how we go. Let's see if there's anything to see down here. As my best weapon happens to be my rifle, hopefully we won't see anything that I, that I need to kill because that's just not going to happen. <laughs> Really opens up here. Okay, time for air. 
I try not to spend more than half of my oxygen going down as I would going up. General rule of thumb so I don't drown. Unless I'm just being stupid, which definitely happens. When I train Pauline up here, when I bred Pauline, I should say, which, by the way, kudos to the ARC devs. I don't know when they put this in or if they, or if it's always been in there. I don't know. They probably put it in in the, in the uh, aquatic update when they started letting uh, the aquatic creatures uh, breed. But the baby frogs are freaking tadpoles. And they go through an entire life cycle stage. Just from tadpole to adult. And you can watch them grow legs, lose their tail, all that stuff. It is phenomenal. I've raised little baby otters. I've raised all sorts of fun stuff. That's the first one that, I, that I've ever raised that, that like dynamically changed as it grew. Not just a size difference. Here's another thing I, I just absolutely adore about the, the Ark. The uh, Ragnarok map. Look at these things. It's like beached dead basilas. And you can harvest them for rotten meat, all sorts of stuff. That's some of our, uh, if you're catching the, <laughs> the chatter there, that's just some of our geeks having fun. And that's the whole point of this server, is just to have fun. Here I am exploring a little bit of the highlands. Got another one of these awesome ships here. Let's go check it out. And yet again, you need to keep those long jumps <laughs> to a minimum. I mean, it's still basically a ship, from what I understand. Not quite certain, but looks awesome. Got another place over here. We got Cryo over there hawking his uh, Baryonyxes to anybody who will. See, and there's a living Basila. <laughs> I am looking to be kind of hungry here. And did I bring food? I brought food. However, oh, stop that. I think I will go scavenge a little. One of the other awesome things about the uh, Ragnarok map, unlike normal, most vanilla maps, or you know, the center. Um, I don't know if they're going to do this for Aberration, but at least unlike the center and unlike Ark itself, the island, there is naturally growing crops here. And I'm a little hungry. These rock carrots, exactly why this is a great place to get horses early on, especially when you're first starting out. Go grab a few carrots, pop them in the end of your hot bar, and go hop yourself a brand new horsey. All right. Look at these ruins. I mean, if you look at the size, there's a doorway here. There's a window up there. Another doorway all the way over here. Makes you kind of get an idea of how big this house or building must have been. I mean, it doesn't look huge, but, you know, pfft. this is the size we are. That's a big doorway. That's a, presuming my guy's about six foot, that's about a 12 foot doorway. And back here was just their garden. Makes you wonder what kind of story there is to tell for the Ragnarok server. Or map. The stories to these matter to me. They don't have to. You know, if you're on if you're PvP or anything like that, 
nothing wrong with you you're not caring a, an ounce about the certain the stories. I've never been able to ascend, never gotten that far. Heck, barely even went tech. But I love to explore the maps. Hello. And see what there is to see. Knew eventually somebody would come and populate this. Wow. Boy, have they populated a little bit. Some otters. RNL. I don't remember who that is. But looks like they're having fun. Doesn't look like they've done anything with the water. Maybe they're trying to keep that, that metal node down there. All right. We're going to follow the stream up here, I think. That sounds like a plan, huh? One of the things I do also like about this map, it makes sense. Like right here, you can see this stream coming all the way up, and it actually goes somewhere. Look at this. I've never been in here. Man, look at all the crystal in here. Where is this? 19.9 by 78.1. There is just an absolute ton of crystal in here. It's nowhere near the, the ice cave we've got, but for those who don't have gear for it, that's an awesome little place. And it's just completely hidden. Look at this. You wouldn't even know it's here. I didn't even know it was there. Now, I remember seeing these structures before. I used to play in a map called Shigo Islands. Much props to the, the maker of that. And they used to he used to use these for a uh, one of the islands. It had uh, like these center fingers or spires, almost like a big claw that came out. And that's where he put his wyvern trench. Just a big old hole right in the middle of that. There we go. I was looking for this stream. I didn't really want to go landing in it like that, but I mean, check out the What's that? Oh, hey. It's a sheep. Just a sheep. <laughs> Even wild crops growing on the sides here. But look, you know, there's a bridge going over the water. This, It's like it's cut a ravine, like water would naturally do. It's like it's cut a ravine right into the rocks. It's not terribly deep. Don't need to swim. But the best part is it makes sense topographically. Like you don't find fast flowing river. If you if you follow a river upstream, it will almost always inevitably lead to a higher elevation. Eventually. Now if you like if you look here. Another bridge, which is great. It leads up. And eventually, we will explore that. I'm checking to see if there's a little cave. There is no cave back here. <laughs> there is a lot of caves in here behind waterfalls. The devs loved to hide interesting little places. But beyond that, I will save that for next time. Next time, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll follow up the stream. See where it goes. I think it goes up into mountains and stuff like that. But who knows what we can find along the way. 
Till next time, people. This is Tiger Phoenix. See you bye.